Sheffield Steelers returned from two days in Scotland to take on the Edinburgh Capitals. Jeff Legui was instrumental in setting up the Sheffield Steelers' first goal. A nice finish from Colt King. 1-0 in the 12th minute. But by the end of the first period, Sheffield had doubled their advantage. Player coach Ryan Finnerty was to be the eventual scorer after good work from Luke Fulgham. Tom Squires picking up the second assist, but the Sheffield Stormers led 2 0 at the first period break. Into the second session, eight minutes in, and defenseman Chad Huttle fires through traffic. And he makes it 3 0, beating Nathan Craze. And with just 16 seconds left on the second period, the Sheffield Steelers were to grab a fourth, started and finished by Mike Ramsey. Ramsey just gets in front, gets in the dirty areas. Ramsey shoots and scores. King and Legui pick up assists as the Sheffield Steelers made it 4 0. A 2 0 first, a 2 0 second. It was to prove, though, to be a 3-0 third period. Watch Steve Burns still go end-to-end. -end. A lovely finish. A little reminisce of the goal Rod Saric scored earlier in the season. But Burns still scores the first of the final period to put the Sheffield Steelers 5-0 up. Leading from the front was, as ever, coach Ryan Finnerty, and he was to grab his second. A turnover. A nice little drop pass. Finds its way to Finnerty. He shoots, he scores. The Sheffield Steelers lead by six goals to nil. It was a question mark which was to be the goal of the night. Was it that super finish from Steve Burnstill that made it 5 0, or was it to be the Sheffield Steelers' seventh goal? He assisted on the Sheffield Steelers first at the start of the night. He was to close the night with an absolute bullet. It's Jeff Lebrun for 7 0 and a final score of Sheffield Steelers 7. The Edinburgh Capitals 0 to keep the Sheffield Steelers right in the hunt for an Elite League Championship. They trail the Belfast Giants with that huge game coming up on Friday. We urge you all to be there.